Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Master Nightfall Ordeal, which is Fester and Core. I'm going to be doing it on a Titan, Middle Tree Sentinel, I'm um, using an Unstoppable Hand Cannon, an Overload Bow, and the Xenophage. You can pause the video to check the mods. It's, it's a long video because it's a long strike, so I just kind of race through the mods. But the main thing is we're using a Magnetic Grenade, for, because of the void shields we, we've got armamentarium on so we run with two i've got taking repurposing on so every time i break a shield i get a grenade straight back and i've got a mod on my mark that allows me every time that i uh perform a finisher i get a grenade so guess what this is going to be a grenade heavy run we've got overload grenades on the chest plate as well as well as uh counter charge and high energy fire and the usual taking armaments taken barrier a couple of two boss specs two major specs and i think i've got a minor spec right here you can see i'm, I'm going to be attacking this first group of ads from a bit of range because this is a bit of a kill zone i mean you're not going to get melted here but you can get yourself into trouble if you push too hard here so what i done was i came in i got the equipped the bow because it, there's a couple of harpies here so obviously arc shields through my grenade now the way the grenade works for anybody that doesn't know I've got a press of darkness on, so when you attach a magnetic grenade, the first explosion procs uh, a press of darkness. The second explosion takes takes advantage of a press of darkness. You also attach void detonators. Now, every time those detonators go off, you get health and grenade back. So it makes sense to try and hit as many enemies with your grenade as you can because the, the explosions will attach void detonators and the more of them that explode you get more health back you get more grenade back so the synergy on getting grenades back is pretty strong with this build so anybody that really wants to have a look at the mods just go back pause the video have a look at the mods this this kind of area again more, most of this is is just staying away from the enemies as much as possible because there's a lot of kill zones here there's a lot of uh choke points you'll see me actually using my hand cannon quite a bit because i've got demolitionist on my, ha my hand cannon as well which is great so this is my first real champion so what i'm going to do is the way i attack these champions is i hold off when they teleport i thought you can see the outline of where they're going to teleport to so when they teleport i'm going to throw my grenade just as they appear you'll see i, I think it happens in this maybe once uh that that they teleport through my grenade and that's the idea of having tons of grenades really or the ability to get grenades back because that's what we're using although i've got unstoppable on the hand cannon and overload on my uh bow i'm kind of relying on the grenades to do that job because not only will they stop the overloads they'll put a damage buff on them with a press of darkness now you'll see here with the grenade that's kind of what we want is just to attach it when those void detonators go off that's good news for us so yeah when you attach a grenade to a to an overload you're obviously going to stop the overload but then you're going to put a damage boost on it and then when you get the kill because there's void detonators you'll get health back so it's it's a win-win so i'm going to be doing that more often than not so this area because it's there's there are some, as you can see here, there's Taken Wizard. That's how I'm going to be dealing with the Void Shields because that's what we'll, that is literally what happened when I when I attach. So you see here, uh, anytime I get an enemy low, I'm either going to finish them or I'm going to try and finish them with a hand cannon just to make sure I get grenade back. Now, another the, the, the features of this Nightfall are you're going to be faced with I think it's something like 20 champions. I think there's like 6 unstoppable and 14 overload. But you're going to be finished faced with Cyclopses. Now if you don't take the Cyclops out, they kind of get this taking kind of thing that goes across them. If you don't take them out before that happens, they will start to put like a, a damage field around you. You have to shoot your way out of it. So it's worthwhile making sure that you get that damage, that, that the Cyclops out. Don't engage... And any kind of any uh, champions or try to take down big big waves of ads when there's a cyclops up. 
make the Cyclops your priority. Now, in this area, because we don't have a lot of taking, heavy ammo is going to be at a premium. So you are at the mercy of the game. I've I, I done this run on stream. I've said it before in videos. You can check out the new channel, which is only for streaming. Uh, I said on stream that I don't think it's a great thing that you can actually fail an activity because you ran out of ammo with no way to get ammo back. So I've got heavy ammo scavenger. I've got heavy, heavy ammo finder. But uh, you you kind of are wanting to switch up because also you've got famine on. So you all want to switch up. Make sure you're getting kills with your other weapons so that you can drop heavy. So there is another Cyclops here. We've already taken one out. There's one here. And there's one before when we drop down. You'll see those. Uh, I take that Cyclops from there so that when I come around to this corner, I'm not... Again, it's it's kind of tough if you don't take it from round there and you come round here. Right in its eye line. And there's a heap of harpies here. So it's worth just re turn, looking round and taking that before you get to this point. You can see I'm, I'm dropping heavy pretty well. There's a sniper up in front of us. I'm going to just kind of get, get a little bit closer. We want him to go into his kind of cocoon phase, which he didn't, so I just killed him. We wanted him to go in there so that when his cocoon phase came, uh, when, he, when, when he didn't have it, uh, we could just finish him. So, this, you'll see in the background there's a Cyclops. The Cyclops won't become active until we take this, this uh, Hydra down. Now, the reason why is I'm not sure if it's a distance thing, if I was just too far away, which I don't think I was. Because when I come down here, now he's active. So we'll just take him. It's like four shots takes a, takes a Cyclops. You can do three in a bow. It's it's up to yourself. So now we're going to have two, two more overloads. Because you don't get unstoppables until you're almost halfway through the strike. So we're going to try and attach a grenade to this group of ads here and get as many detonators as possible on top of them. And then the overload will come round. Now I think I might have inadvertently stopped the overload. Now here's, here's a little kind of tip. You'll see that he had like crazy, it looks like crazy professor like glowing hair. When that when those strands are glowing, you can, it means he is you're un, unable to, to stun him out of his overload. So just be aware of that. If you're if you're trying to stop stop champions or stun, it works with them all. Barrier obviously is different because, well, it's a lot more of a visual thing with barriers. But overloads and unstoppables, if the, their kind of hair lights up, then they are immune to to being stopped. So you can see here, I'm just going to put some shots on this this overload, and then. I actually thought, right, I'm going to finish him with the bow, but you can see here, you can do this with the bow if you keep putting damage on consistently. It's it's six and a half a dozen whether he actually starts regening. So I'm just going to finish him because I don't have a lot of heavy. The next the next overload we're going to get, the next champion we're going to get is once we get past this area. So no, in this area, no, I'm looking for heavy. We need to get some heavy. So I'll just reload, see what I've got. I've got five shots. So what I'm going to try and do is just I'm try and finish one of these enemies just just to try and get some more heavy. Just just to keep, because famine's on, I'm just going to keep trying to switch what I'm using to take down enemies. We'll do, I've, I've, I used my finisher on him, and lo and behold, i got a brick of heavy. So once you've taken these enemies down, now you're kind of going to come to your first kind of plate section. So you'll see here, this looks like I'm taking a chance here, like I made a mistake. I didn't make a mistake. What I'm trying to do is get all the waves of ads to spawn so I don't have to go back down there. So right off the bat, I'm going to go down, run onto the plate, and then get back to where I came from. If you do that, it's like the ads are like, what's going on? You know, it's like you shock them. So... You do, you know, I did take a bit of damage, but for the amount of ads that are down there, it really was just a little bit, because if they'd have wanted to, they could have melted me. And it's that isn't, I was lucky, because that's the way I've been doing that section. So you see here, I accidentally stuck a different ab with a grenade, but I've got two. So I'm going to stick that, that uh, overload and just finish him from up here. There we go. 
Now you've just got, you're going to get a couple of waves of ads up here. So this is the first wave. I think I actually done this part. The way I normally do it is I do it from all from up here. But I, I really didn't have enough heavy to be able to take out all the ads. And I was taking so much damage. So what I actually ended up doing was I needed that heavy. So I pushed down and then I got cornered by the ads. You'll see what I mean, but it's a good thing to do stuff like that, so I, I think, sometimes, because it shows you that if it doesn't go according to plan, you see here I'm going to push, then the ads are going to come, and I'm going to be able to get out of there and get back up top the first time. So again, because I was moving, I was hard at your hat. The, the problem came with the next overload, I think, because there's another overload that's going to come here. And that will be the last champion in this area. Now, this is kind of... After this, you're going to have a lot of taken. So, you're going to have the ability to get heavy ammo back. You want to try and get heavy here. That's why I'm I'm switching weapons. Just trying to get kills. Because obviously farming... And, and I've always been... When it comes to farming, if you're using two primaries... I've always wondered whether it does count anything with an element... As a different weapon. Even though it's not, but... You know, does will that work if you're not getting heavy ammo dropped on primary shots? Will it drop if you're getting shots with the bow? So you see there I've got heavy. Now, the ads are here. So this is this is where the mistake came. There is an overload champion up at the top. Now I said that was the last one. It's not. There's another one down down at the bottom. Now this is what happened. I never reloaded. That was my. F that was the first mistake I made here. So we stop this champion. I get two shots, and then I've got to go. So we jump back up. That that was the first mistake I made. I'm almost really taking some damage here, so I've had to get out. And then I act I accidentally go over here, and I activate the next wave of ads. So you'll see what happens here. I'm now going to get attacked by two overloads. Stick that overload, which is cool. I jump out the way, but I'm taking heavy damage from the other overload. And the sniper. I managed to save it, but now I'm being chased by the next overload. It's like Benny Hill. <laughs> That's what it's like. So I managed to get around here. The bit That could have all been avoided. By not going down, which is what I normally do. I normally do not go down to this section until I've cleared the section and the plate up top. So, it's not because I'm just running about aimlessly. It's because I, for some reason, I don't know, I just forgot. If I go down there, I hadn't killed the overload. And I was going to get another one by going down there. So, we've managed to save it just by in, in thinking strikes and in, in nightfalls and raids and in, in missions... Not everything goes according to plan all the time, so there is there is the repeatable strategy, but there is also been able to pick it up when things go south, and that's exactly what we've done. But have very little heavy, so we're going to shoot shoot these boxes, and that will take us through to the next section. Next section is it's pretty annoying. I'm not going to lie, it's it's not it's not my favourite area. Because you're going to get these kind of red and neon walls coming towards you. And that's not great. If they hit you, it's a kill. But if they're, you're close to them as they're passing you, you're going to get electrified. It's, it's not too bad, but you have to be careful. But the first thing you're going to face here is a ranged heavyweight enemy in the form of a, a cyclops. Now, you see the cyclops up there? I have one shot. In my heavy so if I engage as you can see here I'm trying to stick the, the, the you see there I'm getting electrified not too much too much damage but I'm trying to stick one of the taken ads to get a grenade to get some heavy now I managed to stick them very nearly died there because that they come through the wall I managed to stick them but I never got the kill. So now, I'm having to wait for a grenade to get heavy. And that is the biggest problem with... with uh, that's why I said about failing activities due to 
uh, due to not having not having heavy. So you can see here, now I'm being ca captured in the in the damage field. You just shoot your way out of it with primary. Managed to get out of it. Now I was actually really lucky here. So I've I've managed to stick the enemy. Got a few kills. The invisible cyclops came after the invisible minotaur came after me. I finished him. But what I was really lucky with is the ads all fought each other and allegedly killed each other. So now <laughs> I need to wait for my grenade. <laughs> there is an there is a a champion over at where I'm looking now. He's up there. We'll get him once we've cleared this next section because we've got a couple of champions, a whole host of ads and cyclops. So you know, take things one step at a time. So I'm just going up, getting the ads to spawn in. Trying that I knew that there was a, a captain, and I knew if I could because I've got the mod on where I get a grenade back if I break a shield, or a, you know, break a taken shield. So I managed to get. I'm just trying. What I'm trying to do here is load up on heavy and just trying to stick those ads with the void grenades. And you'll see here, something triggers the explosion and it kills them all. So, you'll see your top right there, that's the Cyclops. Just be really careful. You can't engage. There's two back, two unstoppables right as two overloads right here. There's one coming towards me. So, I'm just going to back away. I don't have a grenade. And that's, that's what happened. So, what I'm going to... You can see what happened there. Get them stopped is I didn't have a grenade, he pushed, and when I did get the grenade, I missed time to throw. I think it's the only time it happens. But, again, that's why I've got the bow on, because the bow will save me if I don't have a grenade. It just takes more shots, and you can see just to the left of where I'm shooting, I've got a couple of bricks of heavy. So now I'm going to push up, and we're going to take this Cyclops. Wait for him to become active, and we'll just and destroy him now i'm just going to kill these at the any ads that are here with a hand cannon and get ready for the champion so i'm really good on heavy now i've got i've got grenades and i missed the first one because reasons but we don't miss the second we do miss the second i didn't <laughs> I didn't think I missed the second. It was the that's the great thing about the about <laughs> that's the great thing about these grenades is they make you look stupid and and actually you done all right. <laughs> no, it's the the explosion. Now, from what I've noticed, you only get the second explosion if you stick the enemy. I didn't. I never knew that about about the the magnetic grenades before. If you don't stick the enemy, you just get one explosion. But you get you get two explosions if you stick them. Whatever, whatever enemies the first explosion hits, they will explode. Doesn't matter if they run away, they will take a second explosion. So now we're just going to do what we were doing before. We're just going to kind of finish off some ads with a grenade. The grenade is really good for this part of it. We've got two overloads here, so we have to be careful. There is a Cyclops further up, but we have to kill everything here first before we activate the second Cyclops. So I'm just trying to get the kill on this this uh, sab with the hand cannon. You can see there I've got a grenade, broke shield, got my grenade back. So I can just keep throwing this grenade to get heavy or, you know, clear out ads. Watch out for that wall. Very close there. So Again, just work your way up here. Be careful. Don't go. Don't go pushing. Don't become. Uh, don't become uh, too aggressive because. Listen, being aggressive when you've got no inv invis is 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 a surefire way to die. So now I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna take the first of the overloads out. So stick them with a grenade. And as you see, when you stick the stick them with a grenade in the press of darkness, it's like five shots and they're, they're gone. I'm going to reload because I am... The other overload has took an interest in me. So we want him to come running at us. Stick him. 
and it didn't work. The other the other thing with and it's not it doesn't happen that often, but sometimes you'll stick a an enemy and you'll see it quite clearly stick them. And it'll just like it sticks them for a second and flies off them. So we do have I'm just looking scouting around here and seeing what I've got. We do have more ads to come in, but we've also got a Cyclops. So we're going to push up here and get this next wave of ads. They're not too bad. I've got more heavy up here. They're not too bad. We've got to take the Cyclops, though. So I see the ads spawning in, and then I remember I've got a Cyclops up here. I do remember. <laughs> there he is. That's because you need that top. See, just to the just just up there. It's those ads you need to spawn in before Cyclops will come. So I'm just gonna. I thought that was the Solar Shielded Captain because there is a Solar Shielded Captain up here. And again, if I break if I break an enemy shield with the same, you know, I'm I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a grenade back. It's not just it's not just doing it with grenades. The Solar Shielded Captains. I can break them with the Xenophage and I'll get a grenade back. So I'm going to go up here and just push up a little bit because we know that Captain's right here. And that gives me my grenade, which I can start sticking these ads down here, just whittling them away with a grenade. And I can do this. The great thing about doing it like this is uh, I can do it from range and the grenade kills give me heavy and my grenade back and health so it's it's a win-win using using the 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 magnetics it's just just you know so now we're going to go up here we've got an overload up here same thing again we're going to stick him with a grenade and then attack him with the xenophage so you can see here i'm i'm, I'm the reason why i'm not pushing is because there's a barrier coming up and i wanted to see how close to me it was it wasn't Stick, stick him. Hit him with four shots. Get him to the point where I can finish him to get a grenade. Now, that mod, I'm, I'm calling it mod because I can't remember what it's called. A, a snap finisher or something. A snap load finisher, something like that. Uh, it takes one fifth of your super. So, if you have no super energy... You can't finish an enemy. So just be mindful of that. So jump into this area. The first things you're going to have is you're going to have an uh, invisible minotaur. You're going to have a cyclops. You see him shooting at me there. And two unstoppables. That's going to be what you're going to have immediately. So I've took the invisible minotaur and the cyclops. So now I'm going to try and coax the two unstoppables over to me. Because if I go up too far, I'm going to get the next wave of ads. And they are kind of a strange wave of ads because they multiply. If you don't kill them quick enough, they multiply. And you're also going to have a solar shielded uh, knight. So I've stopped the first unstoppable. Stuck him with a grenade fast. And then took him out with the with the xenophage and this time I'm not gonna stick this one with a grenade I'm just gonna get him to the point where I can finish him to get grenades now we've got the ogre and the ogre comes in when you push up a little bit further I'm just getting this heavy and now I'll just take care of this ogre now when you go on this plate and you start breaking these shields you're gonna get the next wave of ads so that they're not too bad you just can't let them get out of control. You'll see what I mean here. So you push up, and there, there they come. So I'm just going to stick one with a grenade. I know I can get grenades back here because there's a solar knight. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about grenades per se. So I'm just looking for this solar knight. Now, great thing about the xenophage, I'm not doing it just yet. Is the xenophage can clear them all really quickly. So we're just going to kill him. The Xenophage can kill all of those ads that multiply really quickly because of that explosive damage. It'll do damage to more than one when you fire it. So you can stop them from multiplying by just using the Xenophage. So cleared that area. We'll come up here. We've got a Overload Champion. 
just like a, a, a cabal phalanx boss, a taken cabal phalanx boss, and you've got some goblins. Now the goblins, as I'm sure we're all aware, do that thing with the shield, the enemies around them. So I'm not attacking because I want as much heavy as possible. I'm trying to stop this goblin shielding this overload, which I've done. Stick the overload with a grenade and finish the overload from down here. And then we'll finish finish the uh, goblin off with a grenade. And you can see I've got heavy ammo. Now what we'll want to do is get the boss, the cabal boss, to the point where we can finish him to get grenades. There we go. He's finishable. Jump up and finish him before I land. As soon as he pulls his shield up, I want to be f close enough that I can finish him. So that's this area out the way. Now we're on the final straight to the boss. Which isn't really saying that much. The boss takes... The boss took longer than I would have liked because of heavy ammo. But this section, this section, it's, it's, not, it's not difficult. You just have to be careful. So you want to be going at this with, with some heavy ammo. But you don't have to be full. We'll get a ton of heavy ammo at the boss. Uh, and the boss eats, eats your shots, to be fair. So we've got two unstoppables up here and some invisible minotaurs. So as soon as I get up, I'm going to... Take out this invisible minotaur right in front of me. So you can see there, I've hit him once. And then I, I let the grenade take him. Now we're going to be pushed by an unstoppable. So again, grenade. It's th The reason I'm doing the stop grenade, stop grenade hit is to save my heavy. Now you have to be careful here. Now you'll see that. I When I was doing this on stream last night, that killed me. You just have to be very, very careful of your positioning. Because those kind of take and bloop walls, well, they'll just throw you off the map. So now I'm going to go up here. I'm safe up here from from the taking kind of uh, bloop holes, as I'm calling them now. Is that right? So now we just want to get some shots on this unstoppable. We can't kill him because I'm taking a fair amount of damage, which is fine. I've killed both those over uh, uh, invisibles i'm just now i'm in full uh heavy ammo conservation so i want to get this this ad if i can get this unstoppable at the point where i can finish them pick up this heavy ammo and then push finish grenade again same same thing we're going to get up here and we're going to use the grenades to break the the wizard shield now the first the first wizard is an elite so i'll wait till i land hit and then just take her out with another grenade. Which gives me a grenade to take back. Take out this one. Which gives me a grenade back to take out this one. Just get the melee. And that that's the wizard's done pre pretty easy. And we're getting heavy ammo all the time. Now, when you break the first boxes, you're going to get a wave of throw. And you guessed it. We're going to kill the first one with a hand cannon. And then... We're going to grenade the, the next set. If you stick them fast with your grenade, they don't get a chance to separate. And you'll kill them all with one grenade. I'm not too worried at this point about grenades. We're at the boss now. Because there's a lot of arc shields. There's a lot of taking. Now, you have to be aware that your taken armaments won't work every single time you hit enemies. It's like one in two, one in three. So, just, you know... Be careful when you're going to stick it, stick stick ads with grenades. So you can see here, there's two. As soon as we get in here, what you want to do is you want to clear the the surrounding areas and leave the blight up because the boss comes when you when you clear the blight. So this whole room, we've got two two overloads that we've got to take first. But this whole room operates in almost a rotational mode. So there's your overloads. A grenade will stop both of them, and if you're if you're fast enough, you'll kill both of them. And there we go. This whole room, once we clear these ads, there's a there's a, a solar shielded captain which we can use for, to get heavy uh, grenades and heavies. See, I, I took him down and threw my grenade at two void shield. Now I'm just waiting for him to get his shield back, and then kill him, and I get a grenade. This whole room kind of works on a rotational basis. You know? So you're going to do some damage to the boss, then you're going to get a wave of ads. 
which will have a champion or champions. You're going to do some damage to the boss and then a Cyclops and a whole host of ads are going to come. That's going to happen twice. So, rule of thumb, you'll see me look around here because... Uh, not, not quite yet, you won't. But you'll see me look around at a certain point. I'm trying to find out where the Cyclops are spawned. They are the most important thing to take down. So one thing I'm going to add that I haven't said yet is I haven't, I'd never done this as a, as a master. So now we've got the, the first wave of ads in. This is all about the all void shielded. There's no, there's no champions. This is all about sticking them with grenades, getting tons of heavy. Because I've found if you've got full heavy, they start dropping the bricks on the floor, which is good. Which you want to build up as much reserves of heavy as you can. That's why I'm doing this. Because the boss really eats eats your shots. Once we do that, then then the boss is going to be available to be damaged again. Then we're going to take... What we're going to do is when the boss is available to be damaged... or He's still available to be damaged, but I want to clear all these ads. I'm doing things methodically. Repeatably. So as I was saying, I've never done this as a solo master. So I, I was learning this on stream... I come on this morning and literally done it first time. I, the, but the boss room to start with seems a bit of a mystery to me, but it, it really isn't. So, wherever the Cyclops is going to spawn, you see here now, I'm going to be looking about to find out my location. That raised, raised part to my left is where the first Cyclops is going to spawn. We need to make sure we've got, depending on whether we hit them with a grenade or if we don't hit them with a grenade, we've got to make sure we've got 9 or 10 shots for him. He has to go down. That That is imperative. So you'll see here, I'm just going to put a couple of shots on the champion. Just We're just trying to get the ads out. That's what we're trying to do. Now I'm rotating. Grab some heavy ammo. And I'm rotating to make sure that I can actually take down the Cyclops. So, th this here is a good place with this this block here. Uh, just a couple of more shots. And there you go. Now the ads are spawning in. So you can see, I've checked myself. Unfortunately, jump right in here, taking Blue Pool. But I'm in cover. So I'm just looking about to see if I'm being pushed. I'm cool. Now I'm going to start hitting the Cyclops. I don't get to put too much on him because I am getting hit. Now he's going to put me in a suppression bubble. Or whatever it's called. I'm calling it a suppression bubble. Now I'm just going to wait for my health to come back up. Hopefully he won't aggro me too much. There's heavy ammo to my right but I've got enough to kill him. So I'm going to go up here. Grenade. And I'm not going to worry about the suppression bubble. I'm just going to shoot right through it. Because when he goes, after a second or two, you'll see there, I don't break it. It just disappears. The the, the shield will go when the, when, the, the, when the Cyclops goes down. Now, there's just some ads. I think, I think there's a champion. I think there's an, an, an overload. But there's a lot that you can see the overload there. Uh, no, but there's two taken... Two taken knight solar shielded. So you guessed it. We'll break a shield. And we'll get grenades back, but we never got too much heavy. I'm avoiding bricks at the moment. Because I've got a fair bit of heavy. I don't want to pick don't pick heavy up if you don't need a full brick. Don't pick heavy up if you've got if you're like two or three down. Make, make sure, especially in these situations, make sure that you're you're getting as much heavy as you can from from just literally just using I'll throw the grenade. I don't think I actually kill him with that grenade. Uh, make sure that you're getting as much as you can from armaments. And 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 actually the champion I think kill, kills him. I can't remember. I thought the champion killed him. <clears throat> so I'm gonna back away. And again if I was to start taking him with... I think the champion does kill him here. Yeah. If I was to 
melt this boss with with Xenophage or this champion, it would just drain my reserves. And I know it's only four or five 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 shots or whatever, but we do have quite a bit of quite a few ads still that we need to we need to we need to take down. We've got two more unstoppables. So we really have to be careful because as you see, I am being quite careful with my ammo consumption. I'll just get him to the point where I can finish him. Get my grenade. I am trying to be careful with my ammo consumption. <clears throat> and I still end up... I still end up trying taking the boss down. Or putting a few, quite a few shots on him with a bow at the end. So, another thing you could do. But, <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's, it's time consuming. And this is long ass this strike so we've already you know what it's a 44 minute completion i could have got i could have knocked a couple of minutes off it but it's still going to be a 40 minute clear you know i'm not i'm not skipping I'm not skipping champions cuz i mean the great thing about this strategy and this is something I was very aware of. The first time I do something, I like to do it properly. Exact everything. This strategy and the way that the ads behave. It's a grandmaster. You know, the ads are the same. The amount of champions are the same. The, loca the locations are the same. The way that this strike is working right now, this nightfall. The ads will obviously do more damage. But the, their behaviour... It's going to be the exact same. So if you can play, if you can play the ads and and and, and work work the boss room, you can do it. And you know you can do it in a grandmaster. So as you can see, I'm just trying to whittle them down. I'm not. I don't really want to use any more heavy because I know I'm going to get this next wave, and there's going to be some taking taking ads. There's going to be two unstoppables, but it's going to be taking ads. Uh. So what we're going to do is, as you can see there, I'm just going to, it's, it's, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I've got these taken ads here. It's worth my while to just wait to get grenades just to try and get heavy from them. And I don't really want to, you see, I'm just trying to take this unstoppable down a bit. Because I don't really want to get that heavy and then burn it on a couple of champions. I want to keep heavy. So we're just, the, the, the. The, the ads that are the biggest pain in this little section, they're not a pain anywhere else, but the biggest biggest pain here is the goblins, because I wanted to save them for heavy, but they kept shielding the other ads. You know? So it was like I was trying to take them down low enough that they would let go of, of their shield. So get that, get that ad down low, we'll get back up here. Now, this is where the first, the first Cyclops appeared. So the second Cyclops obviously appears in the opposite place. So he'll appear over at the other side. Now, just get a good angle on him. You know, what what once once you take down this the next Cyclops, I think the only ad you get after that is two or three invisible minotaurs. It's it's just you against the boss then. And you'll see there, I'm just trying to get him low, get him to release get him to release the the champion and there we go I can finish him off now with primary just sitting back just try to get my grenade stick the ads you know that that literally that's all we want to do now so I, th I don't think there's many more ads up I think it's just this champion and I am going to put a couple of shots on them because it's at this point now I'm getting to the point where it's like, my God, I've aged since I came into this strike. So just stop them. And I'm not I'm not at that point yet. I want to get them to the point you'll see here. I make a vital error. It's not a vital error, but, it, you know, it's one of them where it's like, wow, I didn't really didn't realize how strong I was. So I get him low, and then I'm like, right, I'll stop him and I'll hit him with a grenade. 
and the shot that stopped him killed him. <laughs> so that that's that. Now it's back back to it. We're on the opposite side. We're where the first uh, Cyclops spawned in. So we need heavy. <laughs> the story of our life. So the next Cyclops is coming in. You can see him dead, dead across. He's up, up. And now I'm just going to... First couple of shots, he was immune. But I had a real good l line of sight on him. Now, I tried to hit him with a grenade. It was close. But we managed to get him with, with the bow. And as you can see there, that's a perfect example. That's a better example than the first Cyclops. You take the Cyclops down. And, and that's it. You, once you take the Cyclops down... The suppression field goes. Now I am being chased. I didn't realise it. And then I look back and all the exploders are coming after me. So now I'm going to just try and stay the opposite side from the ads. They're at the, you know, there's, with these ads I think there's always champions that come in. Always. So you can see there there's an unstoppable. I'm not too worried about the, the, the champion here because I can stop him anytime. You see there the exploders. I was very lucky. I can get I can just stop him at any time with the bolt and just you can you can stop the champions with with your with your uh you can stop the champions with, with your weapons just as a form of suppression. You don't have to wait until uh you're going to kill them. You can stop them. because, they, And that just gives you breathing space. Because they'll, they'll be available to be stopped again within five seconds or something. I always use that if I'm being chased by a champion. If I'm going to get heavy, I'm going to get some ammo. I always try and use that little bit there if I'm being, you know, if I feel like I'm being encroached. I use that little kind of slide under bit there. I decided just to burn some heavy just get him to the point where I can finish him I use that little bit you can slide under because the champions won't slide under it as you can see I've got I've, I've got a lot of um, well I had a lot lot of ammunition once we take down these ads for all intents purposes it's you see there there's the invisibles once we take down these ads all intents purposes it's us and the boss and the boss is really easy to dodge his shots. You should never really get caught by the boss at this point. So all we're doing here is just putting grenade on him to get his the oppressive darkness on him and then just filling him as much full of full of lead as we can. Um I think I've got a brick on the floor, which looking back, I should have popped my super instead of trying to bait him away from it. The, the brick of heavy is almost in front of him. But uh, I I actually... My super... I'm, I'm bad for that. I don't really use my super very often. With, with, with a lot of the other subclasses. So now I'm just going to chance it. And it turned out I was close enough... Uh, far enough away... That... Uh, that it didn't matter. So what actually happens here... Is... I stick him with a grenade. I put, put this on it. And then... And then it's just a mixture of, uh, you know, hitting him with the bow, which I, I should have just kept doing instead of throwing my cap shield and missing. I don't think I miss again, but I did miss the first one. And uh, it's literally just because I've got a super. That's literally why I was throwing it. And now I'm just going to finish him with the bow. And that's it. So you... you 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 could you could change things about the run as you see fit, but this is how the encounter works. This is how the whole thing works. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed having something new to do because I haven't I haven't done this this as a master before, and it was quite enjoyable. Long ass, but but enjoyable. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the run. I hope you've learned something. I hope it helps you guys get through your runs. Uh, in the description, I will leave a link to the streaming channel if you fancy popping in Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, seeing what we're getting up to. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.